Kleko's decision to have him suspended. The future of Anwar Dramat is now in the hands of Parliament. The police minister appealed to the police committee yesterday to initiate proceedings to remove him from his position. But the chair wants to be certain of his facts and the committee's powers. In the current legislation, it says a committee of parliament, a committee of parliament must um, entertain this request made by the minister. Now, it's not clear in the current legislation or even in the constitutional judgment that that committee is the Portfolio Committee on Police. In terms of the rules, or one can also argue it can be a different committee. Dramat was suspended last month for his alleged involvement in the rendition of Zimbabwean nationals. The minister gave the committee a letter in which Dramat thanks his staff for successfully carrying out the renditions. The Zimbabweans allegedly deported to their country were tortured and two of them killed by Zimbabwean police. A secret report by the Independent Police Investigative Directorate on the matter is also with the National Director of Public Prosecution. Opposition parties are not convinced of the minister's motives for removing Dramat, saying it's a political decision. But they support the chair's decision to take further advice on the matter. It has nothing to do with Anwar Dramat, who's never been arrested, charged in a court of law uh, or found guilty of anything. It's some amorphous allegations, and now uh, th that's what's being used as an excuse because he asked for the Nkanda files. You're quite right. I think there are a couple of lacunas. And uh, the fact of the matter is that we as a committee, we have an obligation to ensure that we follow the correct procedure when it comes to legislation. Bjorkman says he will write to the speaker later today. Abra Barbia, SABC News, 